and eminent ladies and gentlemen. My presentation is traditional use and management practice of three species in Manaslu conservation area of Nepal. A brief introduction. This conservation area was established in 1998 and it is managed by the National Trust for Nature Conservation. The headquarters is here in Kathmandu and it is managed by the local office. Uh, the headquarters of that local office is at Filim of Gorkha district. It covers an area of 1,663 square kilometer and there are seven village development committees. These are the local government units of Nepal. And the population of the area is 9,000 and mostly the ethnic groups living there are belong to the Gurung and Lama. And there are many Lama ethnic tribes in Nepal speaking different language. And the Lamas of this area speak the Tibetan language group. This is the study area. There are two river valleys, one in the western side and another in the eastern side. And just here the, there is a Mount Ganes. You can see, you can observe that mountain from Kathmandu Valley and in this area there is Mount Manaslu, the land use chart of the area. Most of the pot is barren land in this conservation area and 22% it comprises water bodies. It includes the, all the river systems and the snow-clad mountains. Forested area is only 12% and cultivated area is less than 1%. Although there are seven local government units. The peculiar characteristics of this conservation area. The Mount Manaslu itself is the peculiar characteristics. Many people from Nepal and abroad come every year to summit this mountain and this is the highest peak and you could see this peak also quite taller here but it's from in front and the another peculiar characteristic of this area is hunting is prohibited here by the local lama of the lama monasteries and you could see corals the wild animals freely grazing in the cultivated area. And another peculiar characteristics, there are many kumbas on the both sides of the valleys. On the western side, uh, near to the Manaslu River, there are uh, low stringy kumbas and trong kumbas. And in the eastern part, there is Mug, Mug Gumba, it is a monastery only for the monks, and Rachan Gumba, it is a monastery only for the nuns. Let me clarify about this presentation. This is only a part of my PhD work. I am doing PhD on ecological modeling of the vascular plants, diversity in central Himalaya, which covers also the eastern part of the Nepal. Uh, here my presentation is more subjective and I am not uh, presenting more the statistical and so, so figures. It's uh, more concerned about the uses. However, this is an outcome of several visits to the valleys during 2011 and 2013. We did sample for land use types uh, in five elevation bands, 2200 meter, 2600 meter up to 3800 meters at the interval of 400 meters. And we took four land use types, crop field, exploited forest, meadows, and natural forest in all river valleys and on the either side of the valleys. The estate line here you could see this is the river system and we did a sampling on the both sides of the river. For the current presentation, we use semi-structured interviews with the people residing there and also the conservation area management team and we did also field observation. And for my own PhD, we recorded this species presence of sense data and I uh, uh, extracted some figures and some values from this database used in MS Access and I used the Microsoft Excel to produce some figures here. I recorded 97 families, 
of the vascular plants belonging to yeah, yeah, there are 455 species, 243 genera of plants. Among them, the woody plants, the trees, there is uh, only 7%. 74% uh, share is covered by the herbs and the ferns, and woody climbers and the shrubs covers 19%. And top four, three species in this Manaslu conservation area is Pinus wallichiana, the pine, and the silver fir in the second, and juniper in the third, and there are so on, there are 33 tree species in this area. You could see share of the top four tree species in this Manaslu conservation area. Almost 52% of the tree species are the pine forest. And the silver for forest, 22%, juniper forest, 15%, and the birds. Uh, we have Betula utilis in Nepal, and Betula alnoides, two birds species in Nepal. The issues of this conservation area, although this is declared a conservation area, deforestation is the main issue over there due to timber trade. Timber trade inside and sometimes there are cases timber is traded outside Nepal to Tibet. You could see uh, the cattle, the jokpas, the hybrid of the yak and the local cows carrying the timber loads to, towards the upper up stream. Under the cause of deforestation is the firewood collection. And you could see the whole uh, building is constructed of the wood locally available, the roof, all these railings, and the ladders, and you could see the piles of fibers over there. They are collected. And this is the second highest upper settlement in the Manaslu conservation area. This is the Manaslu base camp. And you could see here the piles of firewoods collected there. And there is a common uh, myth and belief that Whoever piles the largest pile of the firewood, he is considered the richest person in that area. And the third upper settlement, it is called Shala. Construction of new houses is also the issues of deforestation. The same area we visited six months before, it had some, some tree clumps. Now you could see only the cart stumps over there. And you could see all the cut stems here. Previously, it used to be a silver for forest, dense silver for forest. There is park management working on the both valleys of Manaslu conservation area. The people at Nubri Valley, which leads to the Manaslu mountain, they are more or less satisfied. But people at the Jump, just opposite of the Mount Ganeshima, uh, they are less satisfied with these park authorities. We did personal interviews at Lokpa, Chekam, and Chumling, and Go. Uh, the people of uh, that area were quite dissatisfied. They were, the park management was not addressing the sufficient enough their demands, something like that. These are the issues. And what they are doing for the conservation. You could see a large forest, Larix Himalaya, forest here, it is dense and natural forest. This is conserved by the local Lama monasteries in the low village, 3,000 meter high. And this is not only source of wood, it is also a source of food. You could see Lama students collecting the wild edible mushrooms from that forest. What text? We cannot restrict the traditional and local consumption of wood, but we can aware them to use wisely. And Manaslu Conservation Area authorities should aware the public more frequently about the management issues, alternative sources of energy for tourists, and growing populations such as solar energy, microhydro, and fossil fuels. 
you could use solar and micro hydro easily because they are running several uh, small river and rivulets and also open spaces are there using fossil fuel in that area should be considered um, in a different way because it is not connected by the road network with the district headquarters of Gorkha and the rest part of the Nepal which are connected by road network. That's why if we consider to use the fossil fuels as the alternative of the uh, firewood and so we should uh, transport them by, ca by carrying with the mules and the porters. And what next we should say no to the timber trades. Use it traditionally, but no for the trade. This is my last of the presentation, and the picture shows uh, some parts of the road tapping. It's some like uh, Ferris wheels in the Europe and the United States. And some parts are broken. It is made up of wood. And during our famous Dasai festival, people join the some remaining parts here and spin to celebrate our great festival. Thank you.